So, subordinating conjunctions, okay? There are lots of them. Um, we've got words like until, whereas, if. They can also go in the middle of sentences. That's subordinating conjunctions. Right, moving on, okay? Um, cohesion. Cohesion, I'm gonna write the word on here. Cohesion is the, um, how it links together. So it would mean, um, if you were writing a letter, cohesion would be that the, the paragraphs flow between each other. If it's within a sentence, the tenses would be accurate. Um, the pronouns would be consistent. So uh, the determiners would be accurate. So if you were writing, let's say you were writing a um, guide to a theme park, you might start with the introduction, then you might start with you know, a few of the rides and it will flow. That's what cohesion means. Collective nouns. So collective nouns. They are groups of nouns, okay? So it might be a class of children, a herd of elephants, a pride of lions. Those are our collective nouns. Um, colons. Colons, we use them in bullet-pointed lists, but also they um, can separate two main clauses. So um, Mrs. Loftus was cold. She wore a jumper. Okay, two main clauses linked with a colon. I could put a full stop there, okay, but when the children get to year five or six, we encourage them to use a colon or a semicolon to show that they are quite similar, they're quite close together, okay. Uh, next one, common nouns. Those are nouns that don't have capital letters. So tables, chairs, uh, the carpet, um, I think of some of the examples. Uh, whiteboard pens, they don't have capital letters, okay? Whereas proper nouns do have capital letters. So Southampton is a proper noun. Um, uh, Great Britain, proper noun, okay? Capital letters. Um, moving on, making sure I get everything. Contracted form, those are words like do not becomes don't, using our apostrophe. Uh, would not, becomes wouldn't. Those are our contracted forms. Moving on to our different conjunctions. So we've got, we've now got coordinated conjunctions. Now we spoke about, about subordinating conjunctions, because they start subordinating clauses. Coordinating conjunctions, they um, join two main clauses to create what we call a compound sentence. We remember them because we use fanboys. For and nor, but, or, yet, so. Those are our coordinating conjunctions and they create a compound sentence. So an example would be, um, I ate cheese for dinner and um, ice cream for pudding. Okay, I like cheese and crackers, but have to have pickle with them. That would use but, okay. Um, I went outside, yet it was raining. Co uh, coordinated conjunctions, okay. Uh, right, next one is moving on to some D's now. We've got determiners. Now, determiners come before a noun, similarly to articles, but determiners could be, um, if you had some eggs, you might have the eggs, you might have three eggs, you might have some eggs, you might have one egg, you might have an egg. Those are your determiners. And that's that.